All right, hey guys, I'm in Scotland. Um, I'm really happy to be here, but being here has not gone to plan. Let's just put it that way. I was meant to be on the East Highland Way. I'm supposed to be on day two, day three now, something like that. Um, but the drive took 10 hours to get up here, which was expected. Um, but basically I arrived at B&B that evening to sort out all my stuff and uh, my lower back and central back. So thoracic and lumbar spine all seized up and I've been in an excruciating amount of pain since then. Uh, I managed to get some treatment yesterday morning and then thankfully a friend was in the area and we just pit potted around. We had a little ride on Loch Lomond which was really fun. But I've decided today I'm just gonna um, try and do some lower level walks and some, you know, quite popular routes just because on a day like today, sometimes you don't have to go up to the highest point to get the best views and I wanna get some views. So I'm gonna go up Ben Anne, which is a very popular little mountain. It's two and a quarter miles up to the top and it's back down again. Um, and that's it. So car is loaded up, let's get on the road. Right, let's get some stuff and then let's get going. All right, let's have a look. Oh, you get <laughs> one hour and then all day. So all day it is. Also, hello, that's my shadow. Um, press key. Beep. Insert coins. Here. Ein, zwei, zwei. And this thing is going to be my lifesaver today. It's my belt that I wear. I'm carrying a backpack, but also it acts as a very good back support. I want this, the staff of power. <laughs> it's going well today. Also, okay. Bye Flint, see you soon. Let's go. This way. <laughs> yeah, it's a decent parking space. As you can imagine, this gets very, very, very full. At the moment, freedom. Take three. I just had to go back because I forgot my tripod. Then I walked out, then I realized I forgot water. All right, now we're on our way. <laughs> so, Ben Ann is literally an up and down kind of job. Have we got a map? Oh, we do. Look at this. So, you are here. We're at the car park on Loch Acre. And we go 461 and then back down. Simple as that, but hopefully we'll get great views over Loch Catrin and the surrounding beautiful landscape. Nice and simple. I think this is within my challenge range today. <laughs> As already alluded to, Ben Anne is one of the more popular hills in Scotland, but with an early start, I wasn't yet feeling the busyness of heavy footfall. Instead, I was surrounded by spring birdsong and instantly lost in the beauty of the land surrounding me. All right, heading up. Just trying to take it real slow, but I thought if you were interested, this is a book I'm using, um, Loch Lomond and the Trossachs, top 10 walks, hill walks and easy summits. And uh, Ben Ann is walk eight, you can see here. So it's kind of nice, just to have a little bit of information. So we're heading up, we're gonna reach Alt Inna, I think that's how you say it. There's supposed to be a waterfall there as well, which is very exciting. So I'm just gonna take my jacket off, I think. I don't wanna get too hot, I'm already not at my best. Um, and then, uh, Keep going. <laughs> Look at these crags up here. There's she got trees growing out of the crags and that is a pretty mature birch right there. It's amazing. Some leaves come out early on some trees and others it's a bit later. Look at this, these here are bilberry bushes, so 
you can see some of the flowers coming out, tiny little red ones. Uh, basically, these will have blueberries on come July. It's kind of exciting. And there's plenty more just lining the, the crags here. And we have a bridge. Bridges are exciting. Wow, look at this landscape, that's crazy. But she ran into corner to this amphitheater of crags and mountains. Jeez, man, I cannot even begin to explain to you how amazing it feels to feel good <laughs> right now. Uh, the pain is real in my back, but my heart is soaring. I feel, I actually feel like me. I haven't had this for a few months now. It's been a really rocky ride with my mental stability. And uh, this is just, this is just bringing me right back to life. This is soul food right here, you know. Sometimes it's so hard with mental health, trying to get yourself up and moving and out. And, you know, we've had lockdown after lockdown and it's just been tough for everybody. And now I'm here, it feels like a thing of the past, you know? And these are the moments that I have to hold on to. These are the moments where even if it's split seconds, I feel like me, I have to take that as a reminder that I am in here and my body feels really uncomfortable. <laughs> But this is cool because I'm in a landscape where actually, you know what, normally my default is I need to get back in my body, I need to get grounded. But today, now, here, my goal is to get into the landscape, to connect with nature. Nature is a friend. Nature is part of me, it's a part of us. And, uh, geez, I'm feeling so humble to be here right now. Easy, accessible route, but, whew, man, it's gonna be some good rewards today. <laughs> I pressed on along the path, with tree stumps alongside. No doubt the area had been left to natural succession for the rejuvenation of natural species. So, even though it looked wild, this was actually quite a managed area. But at least it was in harmony with nature. You can see to the left here, we've got views over the Campsie Fells. Just Scotland, man, in this weather. There's no place like it, you know. Soon I was entering into some mature woodland, vibrant in its springtime dressage with fluorescent green leaves and striking purple-blue bluebells. I think I've already alluded to it, uh, but Ben Anne is a very popular uh, corbett that people come and summit. Uh, because <laughs> it's easy, basically. It's got to be one of the best places for like effort to reward ratio. So I've been told at least, let's see what it's really like at the top. Starting to get a little bit steeper now. Really, really enjoying this. Uh, it's good to have a bit of a climb and feel my heart rate get up. Uh, just taking it steady because if I bend forward it's all by accident, it shoots right up my spine. But otherwise, I'm doing good. Just very, very happy right now and uh, that counts for a lot. That's a big step. Oh, the path is actually over there. Oh geez, where am I and what am I doing? And pause and turn for dramatic effect. <sighs> Boss, this is insane.
You know, it's brilliant how even with this little summit, you get to feel the full transition of moving up and into a more alpine region. So, where are the trees now? There aren't any, or if there would be, it'd be the odd Scots pine, such as this one. <laughs> uh, but basically, as the soil gets thinner, the, the, the variety of plants that can survive here lessens and they become smaller and more shrubby. The weather also has an impact on that because uh, basically it gets pretty harsh up here. Very cool to see that transition. A bit jealous. Someone's wild camping there. That's decent. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got a viewpoint over here. The top is over there. I'm going to check this dude out first. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Jeez. That is stunning. This was Loch Katrin. 8.1 miles long, surrounded by undulating summits and peaks. The views were hard to beat. Just a hundred meters or so to go. Maybe I'll just take a detour up here actually. See what we can see. Jeez, I don't know why it's this. Six, one. Jeez, this is gonna blow my mind. I can feel it already. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. She's gonna. Do you know what? I'm gonna go up here. Why does it not? Here we go. Come up to the highest point. The crag. I don't trust my balance right now. <laughs> but check this out. 360 views. Yeah, definitely one of the best climbs for effort to reward ratio. Flipping stunning. Jeez, <laughs> this is crazy. I was now looking over Loch Acre one of the smallest lochs in the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park. In fact, over 4 million people visit the National Park annually, and with the views I was enjoying, it was easy to see why. It's uh, quite fresh when you stand there for long enough. There's an icy breeze, but uh, How's that? Heading back down the same way I came up. I'm hoping that we'll get some clear patches where it's quiet because you can hear the cuckoos in the valley. So it'd be nice to hear one up close. Hiya. You're right. Oh, no. A bit knackered. <laughs> yeah. You're doing good. <laughs> hey, you go. Hey. Oh. Hey. There's a real sense of community on the mountain today. Everyone's just chatting, a load of banter. People are feeling knackered and you know, good effort to them for getting up here. So good.
You know, ordinarily, I would feel quite stressed out by all these people on the trail, but I'm actually really enjoying it today. I've chatted to a lot of people, a few of which watch my YouTube videos, which is so nice when people say hi. And uh, just generally, the vibe here is so upbeat. I don't know if there's, there's not been any sunshine for a while. I don't know if this is because it's the first time people are getting out. A few folk have said that, actually. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's because people are up for a challenge and they're, they're giving this a shot. But either way, it's, a, it's just a good feeling today to be able to connect with people in an absolutely breathtaking place like this. Alrighty, I can see the cars just through the trees. We're nearly back where we started. I'm just gonna take a pause here in between the stream of people. Um, I'm buzzing, I'm feeling so good. The pain is real in my back, but I'm just feeling so grateful, you know, and joyful. And why? Because the two come together. When it's hard to find joy, find gratitude first, and then joy always follows. This has been a really cool little climb, you know, just seconds compared to the standards of which, you know, I've done before but it doesn't matter. Like comparison is the <laughs> ultimate place of destruction for creativity. I feel like I've been creative. I feel like I have come out of myself. My mental health has gone on the side. This is me, this is Abby, wild and free. And uh, it's Ben Ann, a wee little walk that's done it for me. So, you know, if you wanna get into hill climbing, <laughs> if you wanna get outside, this is an awesome place to start. Like don't stress about the big stuff. Like this, place the outside is the ultimate place for personal growth is the ultimate place to get to know yourself to get back into yourself for healing for restoration and that's what it feels like i've had today you know i have grown and uh yes my physical body needs to continue resting but my mental space it's just above and beyond on so many levels where it has been and i am so so grateful it's got the climb it's got the views it's got the community Ben Ann, you have been good to me today. So guys, let me know how you get on if you're planning on coming up anytime soon. Thank you for watching. And until next time, enjoy your own adventures and stay wild. <laughs> time for some breakfast now. Oh, wow, my car park is jammed. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is why you get here early, people. That's mind blowing in all the wrong ways. <laughs> yeah, I'm heading out, yeah. <laughs>